How's it going people, Bobby here once again, you might know me online as Ironhammer5 and today I've got one that a lot of people have been waiting to see, it's the Cthulhu V2 RTA. So uh, apologies for the close up bit here, I'm unboxing it and first impressions and I'm kind of figuring it out as I'm going along, there's lots of parts, there's lots of weird stuff, so bear with me um, and then I'll give you my impressions at the end. So here's the one everyone's been waiting for, including me, uh, the Cthulhu V2. Let's open it up and take a look, as you can see it's still wrapped, I haven't opened it yet. On the back, there's a little diagram of the RTA uh, with some features, integrated juice flow, build deck could be accessed without draining the tank, raise lip around the air hole, improved easy to use top fill system, enlarged juice channels, adjustable 510 pin, and a 4.7 mil capacity, which is not bad going at all. So uh, let's open it up. I kind of conveniently made a little tear in the package somewhere so that I could open it easily. And yes, my nails and my fingers are disgusting today. I've been at work all day, I came home, and I wanted to get this video out there, so get over it. And I also have a horrible blood blister on my finger where I dropped a paving slab on my hand. So uh, yeah, get over it without the way. And with juice all over my desk, because this Favo tank, if you lay it down on its side, juice pisses out everywhere. So uh, yeah, don't get one of those. Um, so here it is, it's in a box, it's improved over the last one, um, the old boxes that they came in were pretty cool plastic boxes, this one's an even nicer, rounded edges, all smooth and nice looking plastic box, uh, and then inside we can see some stuff, and this is honestly, as you saw, the first time I've opened it, and this RTA is a bit unusual compared to many, so uh, bear with me throughout this video as I try and figure it out as we go through this. Um, so start with this which has o-rings and coils and a blue screwdriver it's a hex no it isn't it's a phillips head blue screwdriver so i guess they've actually used phillips screws this time maybe um because there's no oh there is a hex key in there too so maybe they do have hex screw keys i don't know what the screwdriver is for i guess we'll find out um you got different colored o-rings in there there's black blue and red and it comes with clear installed already so you get some choices in the packet which is cool um, you also get a spare piece of frosted glass it's glass a spare piece of frosted glass so it's a spare tank but it's a frosted so you can change the look um, you get this which is the extra deck the uh, dual coil velocity style deck you get the tank and you also get a drip tip in there by the looks of it if I can get it out you get a Delrin, I'm guessing, Delrin drip tip, some kind of plastic drip tip, and it comes with a metal drip tip installed already by the looks of it. So uh, here's the tank, very different design from the original. Um, I have the original here. We have far more glass on show, and uh, I personally prefer the look of the older one. You can see it's taller. It is, if I can get them both side by side, I can't. Get the angle right guys there we go it is much much taller um i say much much taller it's probably a centimeter taller without the drip tip if that just under um and it has a nice wide board drip tip which obviously narrows down but it's still pretty wide to be quite honest on there um it still has the cool cthulhu logo inside which you can see through there and uh i have to say um I wasn't so keen on the design compared to the first one when I saw the pictures, uh, and I still do prefer the first one, but now I've seen it in my hand, up close, uh, it, it feels really nice, it looks really nice too, uh, it actually looks a lot nicer than I thought it was going to, so uh, there's that, the airflow control is obviously at the bottom, it adjusts, it's got a much bigger slot this time than before, we had a tiny, tiny little hole on the old one, it was quite a wide hole, but it's still quite tiny, we have much, much more airflow in there now, on the bottom, you can see the serial number and Cthulhu V2, I have number 155. And uh, there's that adjustable pin, which I believe you removed to change the build decks out. Um, so this ring here, which is knurled, I believe is the uh, to adjust the juice flow control or something. Um, you can undo it and something happens. Like, I don't know, I'm gonna keep turning and see what happens. Um, it's reached the end, and now if I keep turning, it feels like it's unscrewing. So once it reaches the end, you can keep turning. Now you can see the chimney spinning inside there too. So uh, 
that all comes off in one giant piece and you end up with a piece of glass with an o-ring you can see some fill holes in the top there um, the glass just pops off with an o-ring in there and I apologize for banging the microphone then and now I have to try and get this glass back in um, I guess it will tighten up more when uh, it's a bit weird putting that on there like that uh, I'm guessing when you uh, I'm going to try and get this o-ring back around uh, the o-ring's quite flimsy feeling um, yeah great start Bobby should never have taken that glass off should I uh, there's the o-ring back around feels weird putting the glass on there like that but I'm guessing once you tighten the chimney back down that's obviously going to tighten that up a lot more um, it must come undone in another section to get the deck out because you can allegedly take the deck out it's really tight uh, so that's where it comes apart threads feel okay they're pretty smooth but uh, a little bit not okay um, first inspection machining is not great um, it's okay it's acceptable um, I can't see any big chunks of metal like a few people saw with the other one so uh, I'm guessing this is how you access the build deck while your tanks in there you must have to close the juice flow however you do that uh, I'm gonna have to look into it more uh, I believe this ring like I said this node ring is what adjusts the juice flow so uh, if we twist that we'll see what happens can you see anything change in there uh, oh it just comes completely off and there's another ring inside there which is screwed in lots of pieces um, yeah I'm guessing that comes completely off there and it threads in um, so yeah you've got lots of pieces here guys uh, it screws it all the way through as well actually if you keep turning it um, not very intuitive uh, let's put that in there so I'm assuming that's the juice flow control ring and when your tank is attached and everything when you turn that as that inner ring that I just unscrewed uh, as you unscrew the ring on the knurled ring the inner ring lifts up and blocks the juice channels uh, that's what I'm assuming so you would do that and then you can unscrew it and uh, maybe somehow take the deck out maybe you have to unscrew the bottom part um, we'll figure that out so this can screw into here can it does it screw or does it just push into there I'm trying to figure out this juice flow control thing this just pushes into here so I'm trying to figure out how I can access the deck while it's still like that is that juice closed I guess strange man I was watching some videos before I opened this to try and figure it out I can't figure it out uh, so then once we open it we see we have a single coil build deck which has those little notches where you capture this the uh, screws in there where you capture the wiring under the screws so uh, it's a nice little build deck it has the usual uh, two airflow two wick slots and a single airflow in the middle and then you also get this other strange peculiar ring on here which I don't know if it just I think it just pops on if I can get it off it is supposed to come off does it unscrew maybe it, uns it unscrews so this ring here comes off which they're calling like a wick holding ring so apparently you could put your wicks in between those little gaps with the ring on and use it like that apparently you can just take this off if you wish and just use it like a normal deck with those big juice channels which is probably what I'm going to do so expect that part to be lost by the time I come to making my final review so um, I hope you don't mind learning along with me here guys because uh, like I said I don't really know what's happening um, we've got pieces missing so what I'm going to try and do now is put the uh, velocity deck you can see that's not tightened down properly when it comes so if you want to use that single deck straight away make sure you tighten it down so 
you have the option of two decks the velocity style dual core deck which is the one that i'm assuming most people want to use it has another one of those strange wick holding rings attached to there um and it has the four juice channels and two big airflow holes and a cool velocity style two post deck so we want to put that into the tank let's try and do that shall we first I must find a screwdriver that will fit it so allegedly what we do is we unscrew the copper center pin and this whole pin comes out of the middle here the uh, copper center pin at the bottom which was quite tight to begin with uh, which I've just loosened that comes out so you can see that you can adjust this to adjust your center pin without having to adjust the whole thing and uh, so if you're using a hybrid mod you will be able to adjust that and put it on there should you wish to do that I'm not sure how many people are doing that nowadays especially with a tank um, once you've done that I believe yeah, your build deck just pops out on an o-ring uh, pretty straightforward and there's the inside bottom part and you can see a peak insulator inside there so we're gonna pop our velocity start deck in there and um, pop this pin back in and that was my phone <laughs> this is like the most unprofessional YouTube most unprofessional YouTube video ever made um, even tightened all the way the pin still protrudes out a little bit so um, you're all good on the hybrid front in my opinion um, obviously it doesn't matter how that goes in to begin with because the airflow just goes in all around at the bottom and will go up through those air holes no matter which way it's orientated so um airflow feels nice and smooth it feels like it could move a little bit uh let's pop this back on wait 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 there's other parts there's other parts what's going on bobby what's going on this part is this the part with the notch this is the part of the notch you can see at the bottom there it has a small little notch and you can see on the side of here there's a little notch you have to line those up and put it on which is uh, easier said than done I don't know if it's lined up or not I can't tell I guess not um, still seems to be spinning once that's on there as I unscrew it it appears to be raising up and you can see the juice channel there getting smaller and I'm guessing that's how you close the juice channel off and as I screw it back down you can see that juice channel opening up more there and if you screw it too far it goes really loose and comes off again so um, aha this might be an easier way to do it if you take that weird inner ring out and put that on first and line the notch up on that part there we go you can pop that part over there apologies for doing it off camera I believe there I don't know how many times I've gone off camera but I'm guessing it's probably a lot um, then once you put that part just on there then you can screw this next node ring on like so and that will tighten it down and then you can use that as a whole piece to adjust your juice flow once you've got the chimney on um, I don't know if the chimney comes into different parts I don't believe it does because of the nature of the juice flow control it seems to be one solid piece apart from the o-ring on there um, if it does I apologize I'm wrong it happens and then if I can line the threads up which is not that easy to do either I'm really struggling to line these threads up here guys am I screwing the right piece in? is it because of that allen key head is sticking out? They're lined up it's a squeaky one 
Is that right? That's not right, surely. Seems like there's a big giant gap when I tighten that down. Am I missing something? Maybe it's because of how this is uh, adjusted. I don't know, but I've got a big gap there somehow. Then we can screw this back on. And there we have it, with a velocity deck installed and my juice flow ring is no longer turning. So I think I'll put it together wrong somehow. Anyway, there it is up close. I'm gonna go and figure shit out and I'll be right back. Um, I've played with it for a while and I'll give you some actual first impressions. But that was me unboxing it and getting really fucking confused. So first impressions so far are that it's not very easy to use. Next impressions are coming right up. So just super quick guys, I'll just play with it some more. I did manage to get it to screw back down properly. Um, you turn it all the way right to open the juice flow up and you turn it all the way left to close it. So the juice flow is open now. And I realized I forgot to show you the top fill, which unscrews here. Um, and you just stick your juice in those holes there. You can close the juice flow off first. In the Cafudo V2 one, in the Cafudo V2 one, in the Cafudo V1, they said that you should close the airflow holes before you open it. But I never did that, and I never had any problems with leaking. Um, I am not sure about this one because I haven't built it yet. But uh, that's how you refill it. I forgot to show you that part, and I did manage to get it back together. Um, like I said, it's not very intuitive. Uh, let's have my first impressions after I've vaped it. So since then, I've built it, I've wicked it. I've vaped it, and uh, I've filled it, and uh, let me share some thoughts on it, shall we? But first of all, let's have a little vape. I'm vaping at 50 watts on the Freak Show Tiny, not Mini, Freak Show Tiny. Stupid name for a mod when they've got an RDA with the same name, right? So it's a 0.29 ohm build. It's seven wraps, dual coil on that dual velocity style deck. Uh, 24 gauge, seven wraps, dual coil, and uh, at 50 watts. And the vape's nice. So I built it and wicked it exactly how. I built and wicked the first one. If you've seen my video, How to Wick a Cthulhu, um, which I had a lot of success with, success with with my Cthulhu V1, and I know a lot of other people used that too and found it to work well for them. Um, I tucked the wicks into the juice channels, and that's what I did with this, exactly the same as how I would. I took this strange, peculiar wick holding ring. I get why it's there now, since I built it, um, because once you put that deck back into that chimney, um, it is possible that your wicks could move um, the threads on that part for me are a bit weird too um, they're not very easy to screw the deck in and out on the uh, single coil deck they seem to be a bit better than on the velocity style deck for me uh, but that's just something I noticed um, vapes noise um, with the airflow wide open it feels a little bit more airy than the V1 but not a massive amount considering how different the airflow holes look I do actually think I get a little bit less flavour than on the V1. But that's super first impressions. I haven't been vaping it that long to really give a verdict on that kind of stuff. I need to put a juice in there that I really know well to try it out right. Um, it looks nice. It feels nice. It's kind of well made. I'm s it's so cool that they included the Delrin drip tip because I hate using metal drip tips. Uh, so I'm really pleased they included that. The options seem good so far. Single coil, dual coil. The fact that the way the decks change, you're actually screwing your center pin straight up into the bottom of the actual deck when you change it, 
means that you should get a pretty good connection on this single deck if you wanted to do like nickel builds or something on it for temp control um, it should work well for that from what I can see I haven't tried it yet of course um, it's a nice vape it's a tank vape it's pretty much on par with the V1 the juice flow control and the ability to take your deck out while uh, while it's got juice in is going to be like a massive benefit for some people for me personally I'm not too bothered about that kind of stuff like if I build it and I end up dumping a tank of juice it doesn't really bother me so much um, but I don't use tanks very often so it doesn't happen for me very often right um, it is made okay um, the kind of manufacturing quality you'd expect for the price it's not amazing the threads were a bit squeaky which you might have heard in the close up part um, it's not very intuitive at all definitely play with it for a little while before you try and build it and use it try and get familiar with how the juice flow control works um, I know if you've used a mod with juice flow con uh, tank with juice flow control before you're probably going to get ha the hang of that kind of thing much quicker uh, if you haven't then um, definitely take some time to play with it um, fiddle around with the parts figure out where everything goes just kind of familiarize yourself with it especially if you're new because um, it's not a straightforward simple tank like the first one was it has all these different parts and different things going on um, the little blue Phillips head screwdriver I figured out is for the single deck it has Phillips head screws in whereas the velocity one has the allen key head screws in um, the top fill part is definitely easier to unscrew and screw back on than it was before because of it being taller it is um, much much easier to get a hold of it um, a lot of people were asking like commenting saying that it should be nailed or something because um, the first one wasn't this one still isn't but because it's longer it does definitely make it easier to open it and close it um, it looks nice right um, I'm gonna put the black o-rings in it when I get a chance because um, I haven't uh, done that yet I just wanted to vape it right and the clear ones were already on there I don't really like clear o-rings when they show like that I think it looks a bit crappy um, I'm not a fan of red or blue either so I'm gonna put the black ones in there although red would, would look cool if I was gonna combo it with this particular mod um, I think that's about all I've got to say guys um, it vapes nice when this mod isn't locked And I could take a fairly long hit on it without any dry hits or anything. Not the slightest hint of dryness at all. Still not. So at 50 watts, uh, with that particular build, it's working well. I feel like I could crank it up a bit more. This mod is low on battery, so I'm not going to do that right now. Um, and it only goes up to 60 anyway, but maybe I'll throw it on the SIG 100 and put a different build in it before my full review and see what actually it can really do. I know a couple of people have said they put dual Claptons in there and they're having good success with that. So, uh, yeah, it's good, guys. It's a good tank. Um, very good tank. If you like tanks, definitely want to check out. It's kind of got all the latest and greatest features and all that stuff. Um, I think I'll be enjoying it for a little while. It's a nice vape. Still not as airy as I would like though. Still definitely doesn't feel that much more airy than the original one. Sounds much more airy. But it doesn't feel that much more airy when I'm using it like and the button on this mod really does my head in let's try it 60 and see what happens handling it like a champ so that's as high as I can go right now um, hopefully you can see me through the vape uh, thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope my kerfuffling at the beginning when I was trying to figure stuff out uh, it wasn't too annoying for you um, I know when you come to watch a video you expect me to be able to tell you everything in this case being a first impression as an unboxing and being such an unusual tank design um, it took a little bit of working out right 
I've kind of got the hang of it now. When I make a full review, I'm going to use it for a week or two, like always, and then I'll make a full review, give full verdicts. So everything I've said here is like really, really first impressions. And I apologize if my phone keep going off too. I should have fixed that after the first one, right? But I didn't. Um, and for the disgustingly filthy hands. It's life, right? Do you want the video now, or do you want me to scrub my fingernails first and make you wait? It's up to you. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, press dislike. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Um, I got this from my buddies at Vapor Depot. I don't know how many they've got left in stock to sell. I know they had a whole bunch of pre-orders. Um, you can check them out. There'll be a link below as always for them. Uh, it is an affiliate link. You can go to VaporDepot.com directly if you want to. You don't have to use my affiliate link. If you do, I'll get myself a few pennies towards buying more stuff to review for you guys on the channel. So uh, that's how it works. It's up to you if you want to support it. That's an option for you down below. Um, do subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for making me get to 500 subscribers. You're all fucking awesome. There will be a thank you 500 subscriber video soon. And uh, I think I'm going to be doing a little giveaway of some Hatchery e juice while I'm at it. So uh, look forward to that in the future, guys. Say subscribe if you want to keep coming with the latest content. I've got stuff coming up. I've still got to do that Segeli 75 video, right? I haven't done it yet. I've been using it day by day. The battery check battery thing is really bugging me. And I'm trying to get my head around what it is before I actually make my review. So that's why it's taking much longer than I thought. Um, other stuff coming up will obviously be the full review of the Cthulhu. I've got this. I've got like a Fuhatan V2 clone in pink coming because I love pink. Um, yeah. Lots of options. Frosted plastic, glass, different setups. I'm banging the microphone again. Uh, dual coil, single coil, juice flow control. Everything you would want in a tank, right? Apart from maybe a tiny bit more airflow, guys. But it does vape nice. I'll leave you with that. Like I said, you're all fucking awesome. Take care. I'll see you very soon. And bye-bye.